I figure why not while we're on the PP test, I was sneaking roxycodones. Mm -hmm. I was doing those often, but she didn't know. And it was like I was hiding it, kind of like what she does with the Adderall. You know, well, it starts off slow. I knew, just like he does, but I couldn't, you know, with Derek, you have to like have it. Evidence. Evidence. And even then, he would still deny the shit out of it. And he could be caught literally red-handed. Go ahead, pee me. I don't care. I'll pass it. I'm not doing, I'm not drugs. doing drugs. My wife saw me nodding off to watching TV. I was, I was just... Not right, not enough. Of course, you know why. I was using, I was using painkillers at this time. And the wife, uh, she said, I know you're using. Of course, I was hiding it from her because it had been a problem for many years. She says, I know you're using. You know what? Quit lying. Where's it at? And I'm like, I'm not, you, you're tripping. I worked my you know what off today. Leave me alone. I'm not using. I'm just tired. That's why I'm going to sleep. So leave me alone. Well, she's like, you know what? Screw that. I'm going to Walmart right now. And I'm going to go get a pee pee test. I'm calling pee pee test. And I'm like, go ahead. I have nothing to hide. Go ahead. I'm not afraid of that. I mean, I'm not easy. She shuts the door. And I just pop the lip. Go, 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 go. I drink the whole gallon of water. The whole thing. My gut feels like it's going to explode. I'm freaking out while she's at Walmart thinking I'm laying in bed, still doing the same thing. She has no clue that I'm drinking a whole gallon of water. And a couple times I had to pee before she even got home. When she got in the door, she's like, I know, I got you this time. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove it because I'm tired of feeling like I'm crazy. I'm, a, I'm gonna prove it. And I'm like, go ahead. And my gut was so full that when she wasn't looking, I'd have to run to the bathroom just to release the pressure because it was hurting that bad. I had that much water. Keep in mind, a whole, put one of these inside of my gut, you know? Um, that's a whole gallon. And uh, finally, she goes to pee me and I'm so confident and just, we're lying all the way to the end. What I did is I said, like, go ahead, you can even hold it. You watch me hold it while I pee. And I'm like, you know what, that's a really good idea. I think I will. She does. She holds it, I pee in the cup, and she's like, why is it so clear? And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, what the? I, I just saw this literally come out of him. But it looked like I could drink it. It looked like water. So, not everybody's dehydrated. Not everyone's pee is as yellow as yours because we drink water. Other people drink water, you don't. And I never drink water, like literally ever. I drink water, I stay hydrated. It's just, you don't drink water, I do. Which my wife doesn't, she drinks sweet tea. But obviously I usually have a yellow tint no matter what. This was so clear, you could have probably drank it and it wouldn't even have had salt taste to it probably. That's how freaking clear and how much water I had drank. Well, of course I pass it. And she's looking at me and she is in shock. She is like, oh my God, he passed it. How did he pass it? I know he's, I know he's using. How did he pass this? It came up negative and I thought, what the hell? And I'm like, are you sure, Derek? And he's like, you saw it come out of me. And I'm like, why does it look like this? And I'm like, I told you, you're losing it. You're, you're crazy. I'm telling you, you're crazy. I was tired. I told you I was working. So I really felt crazy. I even... I'm pretty sure I even apologized to him. You did, and it, that was not right. You know, obviously. I really was like, damn, I'm being paranoid, and I'm, you know, accusing him of things that he's not even doing, and, you know, what a horrible wife, so I apologized to him. A week or two later, I did the same thing. I was nodding out, and I guess while I was nodding out sleeping, she went downstairs and said, I'm going to go check his truck. She starts searching inside of my vehicle. Where is it? I know he's got it. So I looked and I looked and I looked and, and finally found I found it. And she finds a small blue Roxy, 30 milligram Roxy set. Oxycodone, 30 milligrams. And I went in there and I was like, that's Smacked all right. me and woke me up and freaked <laughs> out. And she comes upstairs and goodness did she rub that joker in my face. She said, what's this? Huh? What's that? Yeah, liar. I knew you were using. I flipped, I had this huge conniption fit. I, give me my pill. And I drove halfway to Fayetteville, which is like 30 minutes out of the way, telling her that I wouldn't come back unless I got it. I mean, I'm throwing all these fits. I'm so not right in my mind. I would never do this in the right state of mind. She finally goes, you know what, fine, you can have it. Come back and get it. So I drive back and I get the medication and this thing just keeps going and going. All right, y'all, that's, that's the one tale about me passing your analysis. I have many more, but I just wanted to tell you guys, my wife actually 
believed she was crazy because of the addiction. I know it's funny and I wanted it to be funny, but I also want you to know the severity of this thing. You know, we'll lie. We'll say anything we can to convince the other one we're not doing it. We're not doing it. And if you saw my mom's video where she talks about how my dad's abuse was to her, the same thing I've done, I know to my wife. I wanted to share this for everyone to know. If you have that gut feeling and you think they're using, I'm not saying run with it, but try and find the evidence because you're most likely onto something. It's just part of our sixth sense, if you will. The gut tells you things. So stay you know, connected with that and keep your eyes open for little tall tale signs of whether or not they're using or not. His wife. <laughs> the queen of my heart. The most beautiful woman I've ever met and the mother of my three kids. And we will fight this fight until we die but we will do it together and we can do this and so can you. She means everything in the world to me. I wish that for everybody, you know, that everybody finds that soulmate that they can they can go through any any storm and try your best to fight. We have been extremely dysfunctional in our lives. I think we can make it to the other side and show that it can be done. I mean, my life has been a miracle case itself and yours has too in light of everything you've been through. And I'm sure if you're listening, you probably can relate. So if you can, we love you. And thanks a lot for listening this far. Rewiredaddiction.com. Like and subscribe this video, share it, and hit me up on the Discord if you guys wanna talk to me. You can reach me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, or my Discord however you want to do it. See y'all next time. Derek Lambert.